Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today I will be talking about hate, hatred or hating. There is hatred in our nation. There is hatred in our communities, our neighborhoods, our families. Even among friendships, you will find hatred. There is hatred in our institutions, politics, government. There is hatred in the voluntary and private sector. There is hatred all around us, not to talk about all the hating and hatred all around our social media platforms. The question is, why do people hate others? Or why do people hate other people? Now, there are many reasons why people hate other people. Whenever we talk about hate, we shouldn't discuss it in isolation. Hatred has parents. The parent of hate is envy and jealousy. Envy is a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possession, quality, joined with a desire to possess these same advantages. Whereas jealousy is a feeling of insecurity, fear, and concern over lack of possessions or safety. Jealousy consists on one or more emotions, such as anger, resentment, inadequacy, helplessness, or disgust, and hate is a feeling of intense dislike towards a thing or a person. One of the reasons why people hate others is when we perceive or think that other people are different from us, their ideas, their opinions are different from us, we tend to dislike and hate them. The interesting thing about hate is that hate is not in the open. Hate is always lurking beneath the surface. Hate always hides behind jealousy, envy and dislike. And envy and jealousy is caused by the spirit of competition. In our national lives, in our communities, in our neighborhoods, in families, even among friends. People are always trying to outshine others. In our institutions, in politics, in central government, in local government, in local politics, in the education sector, in the private sector, even in the church, People are always trying to outshine others. And this brings envy, jealousy, which in turn birth hatred. The rich hate the poor. The poor hate the rich. In some instances, the rich hate the rich and the poor hate the poor. We must not live like this. We are all children of God. Whether you believe in God or not, you are a child of God. Therefore, you should not hate your brother or sister. You should not hate your neighbor. You should not hate your colleague. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12, the apostle Paul, writing to the church in Corinth, he said this, for we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves. But they, measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, are not wise. There were so many squabbles going on in the church in Corinth. And Paul writing to them said to them, Do not compare yourself with others. 
For those who compare themselves with other people are not wise. And the opposite of not being wise is foolishness. In other words, if you're always comparing yourself with others, if you're always measuring yourself with other people, the Bible says that you are not wise. As I'm just speaking, the person that comes to mind or the TV program that comes to mind is keeping up with appearances. Madame Bouquet or Madame Bucket. She always compare herself with other people until we stop comparing ourselves with others. We can never be free from envy, jealousy, and hatred. You may be asking yourself, Reverend, how do I know that I hate somebody, that I envy somebody, or I have jealousy towards somebody? The answer is twofold. Competition and comparison. Whenever you perceive that you are in competition with somebody or you are comparing yourself with somebody, then that is an indication that you envy them or you have jealousy towards them, which will result in hatred for them. How to stop hating people? I'm going to share with you three things that can help you Stop hating other people around you. The first is this. Stop comparing yourself with other people. Because the only person you are in competition with is yourself. Therefore, strive to be better at what you do. Whenever you are given a task to do, go the extra mile and give it your best shot. That is the only way you can be successful in everything you do. And that will help you not to envy, have jealousy, and hate other people. The second thing that can help you not to envy, jealous, or hate other people is that you value other people better than yourself. How do you do that? Well, it means that you do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value other people better than yourself. And in everything you do, don't look for your own interest, but look for the interest of other people and the people around you. This will help you not to envy, have jealousy, or hate other people. The third and final thing that can help you not to hate other people is that you have to know your uniqueness. To illustrate, I am the Reverend Captain Kingsley Yeboa. I'm the vicar of St. Lawrence and All Saints in Eastwood. I'm from Ghana, West Africa, and I know my uniqueness. I know that I have something that the world needs. I know that God has given me a specific mandate for my generation. I know without a shadow of doubt that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted and to heal all kinds of diseases, to proclaim liberty to the captive and to bring recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This I know is my mandate. This is my uniqueness. And you, you too, you are unique in the eyes of God. You have been created in the image of God. 
You have been given a mandate. You have a purpose and a reason for living. Find your uniqueness. Find your gifting. You were created with a mandate, a gift, and an ability. The moment you locate your ability, the moment you locate your gifting, the moment you locate your uniqueness, you will stop comparing yourself with other people. You will stop measuring yourself with other people. And you will begin to value other people better than yourself. Because by this time, you would have known and recognized your uniqueness. You would have realized that there is something that only you can do it better than anyone else on this face of the earth. And you will never be envious or jealous of others, let alone hating other people. Let's stop the hatred in our institutions. Let's stop the hatred in our families, in our communities, in our neighborhood. Let's stop the online hatred and cyberbullying. Let's stop the hatred in our national lives. May God give us wisdom as we seek to live in love and peace with all and love our neighbors as ourselves. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for creating us and making us in your image. We thank you for the gift of life and we thank you for your creation. I pray for the world and I pray for all the people in the world. I pray that you put an end to hatred in our nations. I pray that you put an end to hatred in this country. I pray that you will help us to love our neighbors as ourselves. Help us not to compare ourselves with others. Help us to value other people better than ourselves. Help us to know and realize our uniqueness. As we do this, may your blessing be upon us. Help us not to envy, have jealousy, towards others. Help us not to hate our neighbors. Help us not to hate our friends and families. Help us to live in peace and harmony with all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>